This week on Facing Waves, Luke Hopkins is in the Dominican Republic to explore the country by stand-up paddleboard. Kickstarting his trip, Luke has learned that there's some swell hitting the North Shore. And so with a little help from one of the locals, Luke is making the move to Playa Valle. A professional whitewater kayaker since he was a teenager, the water has always been a big part of Luke's life. His obsession for paddling on rivers and oceans only grew when he discovered the new challenge of stand-up paddleboarding. And so now, more often than not, Luke travels the world with a body glove paddleboard instead of a boat. We're in the Dominican Republic, about to go paddleboarding out here. It's beautiful, good looking waves. We're at Playa Valle. This is gonna be fun. On the first morning, I went paddleboarding at Playa Valle, where I got to have sunrise and get out there on the water on a paddleboard. I think what I liked most about Playa Valle was that it's in a very remote cove. There's one road to get there, and then you come to this beautiful beach, and there's a river that comes into the cove. Playa Valle felt like my own little oasis. Getting to go out paddling out through the waves, and these waves are almost perfect for surfing. It was so peaceful out there. I also got to paddle down the coastline and I even found the mouth of a river and the ocean waves breaking and going into the mouth of the river so I could surf an ocean wave and paddle up into the mouth of the river. It went from being out in the ocean to paddling in a jungle. It just was a completely different environment that was right next to each other at Playa El Valle. The Dominican Republic has one of the most unique hotels. It's the Treehouse Hotel. It's literally rooms that are built in these little houses up in the trees. And this is a hotel I woke up at, and it's just a beautiful view in this lush jungle. And it's all built up over a, a creek and a valley. All of the hotel rooms in the breakfast pavilion area are linked together with these bridges. And so they're suspension bridges made of rope and wood that go from one place to the next. And they're all over the place. Like you can traverse the whole area without actually touching the ground. After waking up the hotel, we went to this hike up to the top of the mountain. And once up there, it was a whole new way of traversing. We were actually traversing by zip line from the tops of the mountains. And that first zip line, such a monster zip line. And I remember when I left the launch pad, I thought I was relaxed, and then my heart started racing as I zipped out over this valley with hundreds and hundreds of feet below me was the lush jungle floor. and it felt great to get to the other side. But then there was 11 more zip lines, which was really, really fun. The 
the last zip line went to a suspension bridge that went over a river, and then you could hike up to this waterfall, and there was a giant rope swing and a waterfall, and you could swing off of the rope swing out over the waterfall, and just swing around and around and around, and then end up falling off the end right into the pool. During the trip, I visited this really remote beach called Playa Fronton. And I think Fronton means kind of a big cliff, and it's a remote beach. So there's nobody there. You can only get there by boat. So we took a boat out through big ocean swell, and then went through the break and right up there on beach. It was just a beach where you can relax and do whatever you want because you're the only one there. We just went on this boat ride with Carlos and he took us to this remote beach called Playa Fronton. And now we're about to go snorkeling. Let's go. <laughs> 